Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Einstein for flow. It's generally available and I will tell you in this video how to get started with the Einstein for flow and how these features could add your day by day task as a Salesforce admin. This video will be helpful for you and it's a future of the automation of the flow so you have to learn about it maybe in your instance this feature is not available right now but uh, i have early release so that's why i have this feature in my o okay so if you are new in this channel so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my site so this is my channel logo you can see okay so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me tell you how we can enable this Einstein for flow. So Einstein for flow can be easily embedded in setup. After you ensure that Einstein generative AI in setup is dedicated to flow creation with the Einstein page will also allow you to turn the Salesforce Einstein for flow. Okay, so here in the quick file, you have to search like uh, flow creation with Einstein. So just click on this one. So I already activated here you can see it's by default activity don't worry about that so this is the first step you have to verify uh, this flow creation with the Einstein after that you can embedded this Einstein for flow in your you know uh, Einstein button appear with the flow build up screen we will see this here so let me click on the home and there are so many ways to create the flow I will tell you one by one here first way click on this button create and here you can see the flow click on this flow and once you click on this flow immediately here in the quick find let me click on the new and once you click on the new you can see the three option here like start from scratch use a template let's Einstein help build your flow so this is the third option also you can see the small icon here right so this is the second option you have to find out here third one you have to use your automation app so in the app launcher just click on this app launcher and find out here that is automation just click on this automation here and once you clicked on this automation you will be see the button like a new right so just you have to click on this new button and once you clicked on this new button now you will be see this option same here like this one get started and that's Einstein help build your flow right so once you click on this get started you can see that this new automation and this is the collapse button you can expand or you know collapse this like that and here this is the predefined template based on the Einstein so AI can build your flow easily based on your instructions right so here you can see our first flow is like update related record when a record is changed create a record using an online form send an email update record on a set deal okay so this is the some template predefined instruction you if you want to use this on this instruction you can use it otherwise you can create your own as well so here you can see the instruction box you can write your instruction and create the flow let's say i want to create some flow using my you know this predefined instruction sample instruction so just let me click on this send and here once I just clicked on this file, immediately you can see the instruction part have some, you know, X and it's the same here. You can see this all, right? Like a create a flow to send an email notification to the account owner anytime a new contact is added to the account, like that. Okay. And now you can see the button. You have to click on this create draft flow. Immediately you can see some process is going on behind the scene. It will be create the flow. And after some time, you will be see this flow here. So it's creating a draft flow in the flow builder and you will see this flow here so now immediately you can see the flow is created here and here please observe this is the Einstein once you mouse over you can see the hide Einstein's panel you can hide it you can show this one this uh, type of panel like this okay and here this is a simple record trigger flow and let's see uh, what is this flow and here you can see the immediately some information this flow was created by generative ai so in the this collapse or toggle button you can see the some formula and the action in the formula once you clicked on this in the from formula you can see the formula it's created by the einstein right and here 
uh, you can see this panel in this panel you can see the added instruction and start over or also summarize the flow let me tell you one thing uh, i want to know about this flow right so what is the purpose of this flow so just click on this summarize flow immediately you can see some you know process is going on behind the scene and now you can easily understand this you know like uh, this is a record trigger flow and this flow is trigger a record is created on the contact object and everything you can see the detail so everyone can easily understand this you know definition of the flow okay so this is the summarize of the flow and this is the simple flow you can check it out here right that is started in the instruction here you can see this one like create a flow is uh, when an account is created account is updated so let me make the changes let's say opportunity opportunity is updated and copy over the stage name like a opportunity phone like about opportunity phone the phone number all the related contact like that okay so let me create the flow using this instruction so once you created this flow now let me tell you one thing here how we can use the formula builder using our file so here you can see this yeah our record trigger flow is created on the opportunity object okay so let me tell you one thing first of all like uh, summarize this flow so just click on this summarize this flow and once you click on this summarize this flow you can see this all instruction and in the flow definition once you click on the save right so here you can see the flow name it's created by the ai generative ai and you can use it or you can rename this flow as well i want to use these all instruction in the description so how we can do that so just click on this add to flow description update it now immediately you can see this description is added into the description part this all instruction and you can save this flow as you want let me try to save this flow like this click on the save and once you click on the save now we can check this one because we have some error so you can fix it because sometimes you know ai not created the fully functional flow so you have to take care about it you can uh, you know use manually or you can fix you know there's no your need so in this video i'm just demonstrate to you like how we can leverage this feature and after that you can modify your flow based on your requirement okay so now in the this panel toggle panel let me create new resource and new resource is a formula an api name you can use any api name as you want for now i'm not giving any api name and uh, it's a tax and here this is the way to create the formula in you know flow using einstein you can see the three dot it means it's the einstein here so my instruction is like i can create the formula using my instructions so instruction is create a formula to return like create a formula to return like uh, n a right create a formula to return n a if the you know stage name stage name stage name is closed or you know anything as you have like is stage pick list value like okay. stage pick list value um, so value value and it's a pick list value is closed lost something like that you can use anything as you want here but in this video i'm going to show you these things like a uh, closed lost okay so how we can create the formula so first of all you have to click on this icon here immediately you can see that there's some description and the button like create the flow so i can use this one okay so i can use this description here right like this and here just copy this one or cut it paste it here and now stage name i can use my stage name using my you know resource or dollar you know record variable so once you go here you can see the record opportunity standard object click on this one and now you have to select like stage name and this is the one and now let me click on this create button immediately you will be see the formula is created by the einstein so just click on this create yeah so now immediately you can see our you know 
formula is created successfully let me try to check this syntax is working or not just click on the check syntax immediately you can see the valid so Einstein can create the formula into into the flow and it's helpful for us at the time of runtime you can check the value or you can validate the value based on the requirement right runtime so this is how you can create your flow using Einstein's right so I hope guys you like this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys <laughs>